Okay guys, this is uh, slide 7. Uh, I know the last JFK slide was a little long, but that's okay because this one's pretty short. Uh, we only have one topic to talk about here, the Kennedy assassination. Um, now, let me just start out by saying I, other presidents have been assassinated. I don't understand the fascination surrounding the Kennedy assassination. Or, start that again. I don't understand the fascination surrounding the Kennedy assassination. Um, Kennedy was shot, he was killed, the vice president became president, and life went on for everybody except Kennedy. Um, but, that being said, the Kennedy assassination is still one of the most talked about, most debated um, killings in history. So, that being said, let's talk about it for uh, a few moments here. Okay. Uh, we're talking November 1963 here. Uh, November 63, Kennedy headed to Dallas, Texas, on a uh, campaign trip. Uh, he wasn't real popular in the South uh, because of his civil rights work, so he's going to have to run for re-election um, a year later in November 64, so he's already doing campaigning here. Um, uh, so he goes to uh, Texas, very big, very important state. Okay. Also, living in Dallas at the time, is a man named Lee Harvey Oswald. Um, Oswald was an uh, ex-Marine. Uh, he was trained as a Marine sniper, uh, served in the military, but grew sort of disenchanted with the military, the U.S. government, and so forth. Uh, and when he got out of the military, he, uh, he moved to the Soviet Union. And he lived in the Soviet Union for a couple of years. Um, but... Communism, what it, it wasn't all it was supposed to be cracked up to be. Um, he uh, didn't find the Soviet Union as great as he thought he would. However, while he's there, he meets and marries uh, a Russian woman, and the two of them will move back to the United States and to Dallas, where Oswald gets a job at the Texas School Book Depository. Uh, it's a big warehouse basically, where school books for the entire state of Texas are collected. Now, Kennedy shows up uh, for his campaign trip. Oswald, we know, is a communist supporter. Um, he is a supporter of Castro in Cuba, has openly um, done work for Castro here in the U.S. to try to convince people to support him. Um, so we know he's a supporter of Castro. He's a supporter of communism, uh, so he obviously doesn't like Kennedy or the U.S. government. He finds out Kennedy is visiting. He knows the route that Kennedy is going to be taking. Um, this uh, parade will take him right past the Texas School Book Depository, where Oswald will be that day working. Okay. As Kennedy um, passes along, Three shots are fired in six seconds from the Texas School Book Depository. Okay. Um, two of the shots hit Kennedy. Okay. The president will be taken to... Um, a nearby hospital where he will die at the hospital. Okay. Oswald will leave the Texas School Book Depository, make his way through the streets of Dallas, um, and will hide out in a movie theater where he is caught and arrested. Okay. Oswald then is questioned and two days later is being transferred from one prison to another, a local jail to a bigger prison, when Oswald is shot and killed by a Dallas nightclub owner named Jack Ruby. Okay. Here you see a picture, there's Oswald, his mug shot. Here you see a picture of the transfer. It's, uh, there's Oswald in the middle with the very pained expression on his face. This is Ruby with the gun in his hand. You can kind of make out right there, the gun. Uh, so Ruby shooting Oswald. This is a Texas Ranger who was transferring Oswald. Um, 
This is caught on live television. Okay. So there's no question as to who killed Oswald. Ruby did it. Okay. Ruby was a local nightclub owner in Dallas with known connections to the mob, the mafia. Okay. Now, the Warren Commission is set up to investigate the Kennedy assassination. Okay. Um, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, Earl Warren, um, headed the Warren Commission to investigate the death. They concluded, after much investigation, that Oswald was the lone shooter. Oswald killed Kennedy. Two days later, Ruby killed Oswald, and we never got to really question Oswald in a court. So we're not quite sure what his motivation was, although we can guess. Those are the facts that we know. Okay? In spite of that, conspiracy theories abound. There are any number of them. Um, some people believe that the Soviet Union was behind the killing. They paid Oswald to do it. Some people believe the Cubans were behind the killing. Um, some people believe that the mob was behind the killing, that the mob had one of their guys, Ruby, kill Oswald before he could talk. Uh, Ruby will spend the rest of his life in jail. Um, uh, some people believe Oswald acted alone. Some people believe there were more than one shooter. Uh, there were two shooters, or three shooters even. Um, some people believe that the government was behind it. The FBI uh, was behind it, because they didn't like Kennedy. Kennedy liked them. Kennedy involved himself very much with the runnings of the FBI, and they wanted to be left alone. I, there are any number of conspiracy theories out there. We know for a fact that absolutely we can't prove any of them. That's why they're just theories. Okay? Um, what we do know for a fact, and that we can shoot down some of the theories, is that uh, they said you can't accurately get off three shots from a bolt-action rifle that Oswald would have used in six seconds. Well, they've dis disproven that. Okay, they've uh, they've recreated the the scene, the the Cadillac moving at a certain speed. They had a tower. Uh, they had a trained Marine sniper with the same kind of rifle Oswald would have used, and he was able to get off three shots accurately in six seconds. There was a theory that Oswald could not have possibly gotten from the Texas School Book Depository to where he was captured in the amount of time he had. They've disproven that. Okay? Um, there are all sorts of theories. We don't know if any of them are true. What we do know is that John F. Kennedy was the president. He was shot. He died. Vice President Lyndon Johnson became the president. Lee Harvey Oswald was shot and killed by Jack Ruby two days after Kennedy was killed. That's what we know, and that's all we know. Anything else... Um, is just a theory.